So it was time to head out and check the progress of the corn, June 22nd. So I brought a couple of my trusted companions with me. They're always good scouts and make it more fun to go walk the fields. And as you could tell, they're pretty excited. And I was excited to have them with me. Uh, this is the first field. It's 70 acres of planted popcorn. It's an 80 acre field. It's right along the highway by the airport in Ottawa, which is right down the street from Princeton. And it's doing okay. I'm not super impressed with it. Happy to have it planted, but I've seen better corn and uh, we'll get there. It'll probably mature out fine, but it's not as good as my other field. Speaking of which, as I arrived at the Finney farm, uh, which is roughly 45 acres of planted popcorn, it's 160 total, I was pleased with the, the development of the corn. As you can see, it's bright green, seems to be pretty tall, stout plants. Uh, this was nicely planted. It's all evenly spaced. I see a few misses here and there. Overall, the corn is in good shape, and here's some uh, perspective with the water bottle. June 20th, 20 days after planting corn, and as you can see, it's growing. We spent uh, a little bit of time side dressing it the other day. You could probably see the little lines in the, uh, in the soil, basically, or like right there. And um, that's where we take a machine and drill in a little bit of fertilizer, mostly nitrogen, because at this stage, uh, the corn really needs it. It starts to grow and it starts to pop. But it's wet out and we've had some good rains. We're gonna have a lot of rain tonight and it's about 90 degrees or has been all day. It's cooled off just a little bit right now, but it's very hot and muggy, which is uncomfortable to a lot of people, but it's perfect for growing corn. So I'm really happy that we've got it. We've got some a little bit of wind, as you might hear on the video, which will help evaporate some of the moisture. So I'm glad we've got more rain coming to make up for that. And quite frankly, the wind is probably part of the weather system that's moving in. So it's all tied together. But after 20 days of growing, I'm very pleased. And I've walked all around the, the field and it seems to be in really good shape and probably 95% of the field. The other field to the north of us that we planted, it's an 80 acre field, planted 70 acres there. It's right by the airport. It's doing okay, probably not as good as this right now. We had a little bit of issue with army worms. So normally it's not a big deal in corn, but this year we planted so late. So as those worms came off of what they normally eat, like brome grass and whatnot, um, they moved to the corn. Nice, succulent, easy to eat, very tender uh, baby corn. So we suffered a little over there. I don't anticipate it'll be a huge issue in the long run but um, that's where we're at. And um, so June 22nd, we're getting pretty close to the 4th of July. I don't know how many days that is. We can do the math later, but basically the old, old timers used to say, I remember my grandpa saying it, uh, the corn needs to be knee high by 4th of July. So if we wonder if we'll get there, I do believe we will, at least on this. Normally you're way past it, but this is a weird year. We planted way later than normal. So, so we're playing a little bit of catch up. So knee high by 4th of July, I don't know, but I think we will. Now for a quick walk through the field at a dog's perspective. That's Rue, my German Shepherd. So smart, really good dog, and I love her a lot, and I'm happy she comes with me to the farm. If anybody has a German Shepherd, post in the comments, I'd like to know. My neighbor to the west planted corn, not popcorn, different variety. I don't think we'll have any issues with pollination or cross-pollination due to the timing. Follow the progress of this unique entrepreneurial startup. Like the Princeton Popcorn Facebook page, follow our Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube page. Be sure to click notifications on Facebook and click the notify bell on YouTube. Visit www.princetonpopcorn.com to learn more.